Hi, I'm Nathan from Py3G and today I'm going to show you how to connect your Raspberry Pi to your Raspberry Pi Pico. I will show two very simple methods to execute C and Python code on the Pico and see the output. The easiest way to run code on the Pico is by using MicroPython, which is pre-installed on newer Raspberry Pi OS images. So you just have to open up the Thony Python editor and then use a USB to micro USB cable to connect your Raspberry Pi Pico to the Raspberry Pi USB port. Hold down the boot cell button on the Raspberry Pi Pico while you plug in the micro USB cable so that the Pico will be mounted as a flash drive. Then press OK on the Raspberry Pi and you should see your Raspberry Pi Pico as a file system. The next step is to install the MicroPython firmware on the Raspberry Pi Pico. In the bottom right corner of the Thunny editor, you should see the version of the Python interpreter. Click on it to configure the interpreter. Make sure that the interpreter is set to MicroPython on the Raspberry Pi Pico. The Raspberry Pi should be able to detect the correct port on its own. So all you have to do now is click on Install or Update Firmware. Press Install to flash the MicroPython firmware onto the Raspberry Pi Pico. And when it's done, press Close and OK. In the Shell section of the window, you should see a Python interpreter, which you can use to execute any MicroPython commands on the Raspberry Pi Pico. The commands will be sent to the Pico, executed there, and the output will be sent back to the Raspberry Pi and displayed in the Shell window. For example, we can print hello from the Pico and see the output. Or we can add 2 plus 5 and the Pico will respond that this equals 7. You can use the window above to write your own Python scripts and save them directly to the Raspberry Pi Pico. If you name your script main.py, then it will be executed whenever the Pico is powered up. Now let's have a look on how you can execute C code on your Pico and display the output on your Raspberry Pi. First, you have to know that in order to run C code on the Pico, you need to compile it using the Pico SDK. Since this is out of the scope of this video, I will use the examples which raspberrypi.org provides. Leave a comment down below if you want to know how to set up and use the Pico SDK. We will download the hello world.uf2 example from the Raspberry Pi website. The link is in the description below. After it is downloaded, we follow the instructions on the website to flash the file onto the Raspberry Pi Pico. Again, you need to connect the Pico to your Raspberry Pi's USB port while holding down the boot cell button. And then, after it is mounted, simply drag and drop the hello world.uf2 onto the Raspberry Pi Pico. The Pico will reboot and then execute the file. We will use the UART interface of the Raspberry Pi Pico to see the console outputs. We need three jumper wires to connect the transmit, receive and ground pins. Plug your Pico into a breadboard so that the micro USB port is at the top. The first pin on the left side of the Pico is the transmit pin and it needs to be connected to the receiving pin of the Raspberry Pi, which is the fifth pin on the right side on the Raspberry Pi. The second pin on the Pico is the receiving pin and it needs to be connected to the transmitting pin of the Raspberry Pi, which is a fourth pin on the right side, so just above the receiving pin of the Raspberry Pi. Finally, you need to connect any of the Raspberry Pi's ground pins to the ground pin of the Pico, which is the third pin on the left side. I'm choosing the ground pin, which is two pins below the receiving pin of the Raspberry Pi. After all the wires are installed, we need to enable the UART interface on the Raspberry Pi. Open a terminal window and type sudo raspi-config. Then select three interface options and then i6 serial port. Select no for the login shell and yes for the serial port hardware. Then press OK and escape. The final step is to install the Minicom software. Execute the command sudo apt-get install minicom. Press Y to confirm the installation. Now we can use the minicom tool to see the outputs of the Raspberry Pi Pico. Type minicom-b115200-o-d-dev-tty ACM0.
And just as easy as that, we can see the outputs of the Raspberry Pi Pico. To leave the Minicom, press Ctrl A and then X. That's it for today. If you enjoyed communicating with your Pico, then leave a like and subscribe to our channel, as we will post videos like this on a weekly basis.